Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I'm going to do something Jurassic World related which I've seen a few reviews on this and I've seen a few reviews on other Jurassic World stuff I'm still going to get mine but I'm going to do an overall collective video instead of doing individual ones as I think there's quite a lot out there um, I'm going to do some size comparisons with this when I get it open and I'm also going to... Um, Get some other um, Jurassic World stuff, but without further ado, I'm going to get this open. I think the packaging's really cool. I love the dark blue bit here, and I love that. I like the cage, the cage bit here. It looks really cool. And on the back of the box, it shows you some other figures you can get. You can get Claire and you can get Owen. I'm not going to get Owen because I've already got an Owen figure and I've already got a blue figure. But I really want Claire because I really want the Gyrosphere. And I also want the Jurassic World Legacy Collection figures of the, peop of the people figures. And I also want some more Jurassic World figures as well. Um, so if anyone in the comment section knows um, when the Legacy collection figures are out in the uk please let me know in the comments section um, and i'm gonna scan this in the in the app as well so that's um, i can't wait to do that so without further ado i'm gonna get this open i'm really excited to get it open and yeah so indirector one two three open so guys i've got the um, indirector open and i've got and it's tail you have to connect on itself so you sing simply turn it that way and pop it in and it stays in it's strong it's not going to come out and it still articulates so that's good that's quite simple to do and overall i think it looks really really nice i think it's so highly detailed I love the um, colour scheme it has down here, which is in like a goldy, like a goldy yellow all the way down, which looks really cool. It's really striking against the black. The colour coordination is really cool and um, really nice. The details to it is so nice. The scale, the scale sculpt is real nice. It's got some spans on its back and they're in like a rubber so it's safe to touch as well so you can actually do that. Because I had um, a Godzilla figure and the spans on its back was sharp where it's actually cut me and this is real nice. It can do that and it doesn't hurt so that's cool. So that's safe for kids as well. Um, overall the details are really nice. It's got a nice striking red eye. The sculpt is real cool real nice and clean there's no messy marks on it no bleed marks in it and that that goldy like yellow line all the way down looks so striking against the black so that's really nice um it's in this real nice dark black color it's got nice striking red and um, red eyes and before I get down to the articulation, the teeth look really clean. There's no bleed marks in the teeth, which looks really cool. Um, the sculpt is just amazing. I think it's so nice. The It's got nice details in its mouth. That looks really nice. And I keep saying it's really nice because that's all I can say because there's no faults in the figure at all. I think it's just all really nice. <laughs> it's got nice span sculpt details going down its back into its tail. So guys, down to the articulation and it's got a head on a ball joint so it can swivel there. It's got one joint at the top and one joint there at the neck. So that's really cool it can turn all the way around and you can even and it's got like a nice ball joint there so that's really nice it's got jaw articulation there as well so it can open and close its mouth so you can do some really cool biting actions with that it's um wrist has got articulation in it there so you can actually bend it like up like that out 
like that. So you can put it in some really cool poses for your display of playing purposes. It's got um, wrist articulation. It's hard to show you. Wrist articulation all the way around. And it can move all the way up like that. And all the way down like that. Same with the other arm. The tail can move like side to side like that. Um, and can move up and down. So that's really good. I think it's so cool so you can balance. And it doesn't struggle to it doesn't struggle to balance either. You can just it stands really well. So you can have it loads of different ways. And its tail helps as well. Even without the tail, it stands really well. So that's really cool. It's got good art uh it's got good articulation in its legs so it can actually move its legs in and out like that by its five bit so that can click in and click out. It's got good knee articulation like that and it's got like ankle pivot so it can swell all the way around and it's got and it can bend it like that or it can bend it like that. It's got really nice details to its figure. I love its nice claws and the scale um, it's got real nice like scale marks on it and I love its long claw the famous claw what they use in the films I've seen it in the trailer that it taps it down so that looks really cool like it did in the first Jurassic Park movie um, overall the articulation is 100% um, amazing the sculpt itself is 100% amazing playing purposes also amazing no complaints about this figure it's well worth £30 um, the scale size is really good as well and overall just a great figure to add to your collection and um, it's safe for kids because of the spans there it don't really have no sharp edges on anything and usually on like dinosaur or monsterish figures you get like sharp edges they've got none on that so that's really cool even the claws look sharp but they've got like the rubberish so that's really cool and overall it looks really cool for some Great storylines. Um, simply just a good figure. So now I'm going to get on to the scan guys. Which is, there's the code. The code bit at the bottom. It's got like a little logo bit there as well of the Jurassic World symbol. Um, so I'm going to get the app up in a minute. And I'm going to scan that in the code. And then I'm going to do some size comparison and that'll be it for this review guys. So, so guys before I scan in the Indoraptor, if you haven't got the app, the app's called Jurassic World Facts. You can find it in your um, app store um, you can, or you can go on the website which is www.jurassicworld.com or you, um, .uk. Um, and that's the app. The app's real fun. You've got loads of, you can do quizzes. It tells you um, facts about the dinosaurs. And you can collect, you can collect the, the figures. You can use the codes on there. And it's just real fun to do with the kids and the family. And you can all do like quizzes at home. So without further ado, I'm going to get this Indirector scanned. So it says scan at the bottom and then it'll pop pop up with a camera so it's scan there and then it'll pop up with the camera and at the bottom you just get, get its foot you simply line it up like this and it should scan it in there you go it's scanned in and there you go the Indoraptor so it's real fun, it tells you a few little quizzes about, um, and, yeah. So, there you go guys. 
Now, time. Oh, time to do some size comparison. Now, guys, I'm going to do some size comparison now that I've scanned him into the app. And I've got Owen here and I've got Blue here. The stand, really nice. The size comparison's really nice. What's great about Mattel, which they've done such a good, um, they've done such a good thing with this toy line, is they've made the figures in scale size. So Mattel's done a really good job, and their stand, I think, like in proper scale size. So uh, can't complain about that. Mattel's done a real good job on these toys, and I've got Owen here, which I picked up the other day. So I'll quickly show you, a, I'll do like a quick overall review on him as well. He's nice, he's got some nice details in his jacket, about his brown jacket he's wearing. He's got some like crease marks there. He's got like a little peg hole bit here, because it comes with a little brown knife, which is small, it's small, it's got tight, it's a bit simplistic, but it's still got a little bit of detail and you simply push that in the back of the peg like that. And it, it goes on the back of his trousers. Um, his trousers are in a dark blue. With nice marks and crease marks in them like the crinkled up. So that's really cool. Um, nice brown boots. His face light, his face. I, can't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But his face likeness is really nice. It's got some nice hair sculpts in it. And he's got... Some nice articulation. He bends at the knee, but not at the ankle. He's got good articulation in the arm, and he can bend his arms like that. So you can do some really good um, fighting motions with it, or you can do some really good running motions with it. Um, and he can move his head that way, and that way, and he's even got a tiny bit of like head pivot not loads but a little bit Um, only one word of warning i've got for these figures and that is try and pick them up from the shop not not offline offline will be the last resort um because some of them i've saw five of them in the shop and that one, this one was the best one I could find with the best face sculpts. Some of the face sculpts are a bit off, which I don't understand why they've done that. But overall, if you look for the right one, the face, the likeness is really good. And is a really cool figure to add to the collection. Um, and what else is cool is it can also open his legs like that. So it can stand in loads of different poses. So, you can like stand in like that, you can stand in loads of different ways, so you don't actually need ankle pivot because of the way you can do that, so that's really cool. So yeah, he also comes with um, free accessories, which was the brown knife, he comes with a nice little rucksack, like a nice little bag with a bit of detail in, which you can actually put in. Put on him and it goes on him really well you lift up his like that so that looks really cool you can even still put his hands down so you can do that so that's cool and he also comes with a baby version of blue like you can see in the trailer he's got no articulation but he's got like a bit of like he's got like a rubber he's more like made out of like a a rubbery plastic but that's quite nice detailed for a small little figure it's got a nice blue line going down like markings going down his back nice striking little yellow eyes Um, he, he struggles to stand up but once you get him in the right place he can stand At the moment he doesn't seem, want, seem to want to stand for me but he will not win. There you go, look. He didn't win. So he stands up all right like that, but you really have to persevere with him. And he's a nice little accessory, what comes with Owen. So it comes with the knife, the bag, 
and a baby version of blue and his blue here i've done um a review on him with the dilophosaurus on my video so um they're on my channel and they're going to be underneath this video um, yeah, underneath this video so if you want to watch a review on them which you probably already seen reviews on them anyway um but still check out my video overall this review is done the size comparisons brilliant the figure overall is brilliant the details the articulation the sculpt the paintwork um everything it's well worth picking up for 30 pounds Blue retails for um, $9.99. Owen retails for $9.99. And the bigger figure uh, retails at thing eight, um, twenty um, $29.99. So overall, I will link all three of these down below in the description down below. You can pick them up from Amazon. You can pick them up from Smith's. Um, and in the UK, we've got a shop called Asda. You can pick them up <clears throat> in Asda. Um, you can't pick this one up in Asda. I ain't seen this one in Asda, but you can pick you can pick it up in Smith's and you can pick it up off Amazon. So if you like these, I'll link these down below. Down below. So guys, overall, um, these are great figures. Give this video a thumbs up, a comment down below, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do some more toy reviews on Jurassic World stuff, on other toy stuff, and yeah, so please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later guys, and check out my other videos, bye!